hello guys and welcome to the another photoshop tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can create a wild paint effect so uh without a further delay let's get started So uh, this is the image which I have downloaded from Google so uh, you can go ahead I have, I have given the link in the description you can download this image and you can follow this tutorial so uh, before I go ahead and apply the paint effect first of all I will duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl plus G or command plus G on Mac or uh, you can always go ahead and drag this and drop it to the new layer icon so it will duplicate this layer so uh, once this uh, why I have dupl duplicated this layer so anything which goes wrong in this image I always have a backup ready so first uh, what I will do I'll remove the background so uh, before so for that I need to select uh, this part so for that I'll use the quick selection tool and I'll start painting over this image So now to deselect the uh, the part which are select uh, which has been selected extra so you need to press alt on your keyboard once you press alt it will change to the minus sign and this is how you can deselect so uh, once this is done uh, let me do it here as well a little bit yeah okay once it is done we'll go ahead and and do the refine refine it and here uh, you need to play with all these options uh, for me this is fine since I have already worked on this image the last value has already been set up here so I'll press ok now what I'll do I'll press ctrl plus J on my keyboard so that I can have this image cut out from the background now uh, next thing what I need to do I need to convert this image to a smart object why I need to convert this to a smart object so that anything which I which I will do uh, on this image it will be a non destructive image so uh, whatever a uh, filter I'm going to apply here it is not going to affect the image for that I need to convert this image to a smart object so for converting to the smart object either you can go here and click convert to smart object or right click on the image and go ahead and click on convert to smart object so uh, once this image is converted to smart object what I'll go to I'll go to the filter then the stylize stylize sorry and go to the oil paint sometime uh, when you go to the oil paint this oil paint area is grayed out uh, you won't be able to click on the oil paint so why I'll show you that so you need to go to the edit preferences and just go to the performance and in the performance you need to see that your use graphic process is checked and go to the advanced and here you use open CL is checked if this is this all are checked you will be able to click on the wild paint filter so uh, once I click on the wild paint filter you can start seeing the effect that time itself so uh, here you need to play with all those values uh, let me show you as I increase or decrease so uh, according to your image what image you are using you have to play with all those values so uh, for me around 2 is 2 2.5 is fine for me and I'll increase this size to around 7 okay and this one around four four or five and scale to up to ten and bristol detail up to ten 
so uh, you need to play with all these values the according what kind of image you have selected according to that you need to set up these values the more you will practice the better you'll come to know how all these values works okay so uh, this is fine for me so uh, now you will see why I have converted this image to a smart object once I click OK the smart filter and the wild paint filter filter the two extra option has been created over here if you haven't if you won't convert your image to a smart object and later you won't be able to do any changes on the image so uh, once uh, this is done I'll go ahead and click on a smart filter I'll select the brush and I make sure my foreground and background color is black and white and I'll go ahead and zoom over the eye now here you need to check your opacity and flow should be around 30 or 40 decrease the size of the brush and start painting over his eye so that it should give a bit more realistic it should look bit more realistic later if you want to decrease the intensity of of this wild paint filter you can always go ahead and paint over here by decreasing the opacity a little bit more and you can paint over a part which you feel is over filtered you can see here wherever I am painting this this black spot you can see so uh, these all changes I am able to make because I have converted this image to a smart object so uh, this is fine for me now what I'll do I'll I need to put a background over here so uh, what any kind of background you can choose I have uh, chosen uh, this background so first of all I need to give a, a oil paint look for this image then only I can go ahead and, and put this on the uh, over here in the background so uh, what I will do first of all I'll go to fill uh, I'll create a copy sorry I'll create a copy by pressing ctrl plus J now I'll go to the filter and select liquify now here in the liquify option you have a forward wrap tool so what does this forward wrap tool it it changes the shape uh, wherever according to the brush size it changes the shape so if if your brush is really large it is going to take the whole area around the brush and it will change the shape so uh, this you don't have to do you you need to make sure your brush is size is small so that I can increase change the size of this flower little bit it is giving me a painted look that it has been painted it's not clicked here I need to change a little bit more so uh, these are all the tricks you you have to practice uh, with the different images then only you you will come to know how how these all our tools can work properly for you so you should always go ahead and try with different images I'll do it here
so now this is fine now click ok now go ahead and convert this omega object to smart object now go to the filter slice and then while paint so uh, this is fine click ok now on your keyboard press ctrl plus a this will select the entire image then ctrl plus c to copy the image and go here click the layer one and just ctrl plus v so it will get pasted behind so uh, this image which i have created here uh, i have used this as a background for this you can always go ahead and press ctrl t to scale it down you, if you want to increase you can go ahead and increase if you want to decrease you can go ahead and decrease so uh, for me this one is fine so uh, this is it guys this is how you can create a wild paint effect in Photoshop CC 2017 I hope you guys like this video and please 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 don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the update of my upcoming videos and if you have any question if you have any doubt and if you want me to create any video uh, you can always go ahead and comment till then have a happy photoshop day thank you